Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are fishing the James River today. This is some beautiful country that I am able to take in right now. It is absolutely gorgeous. The scenery, we just saw a train go across a, uh, a bridge. It's a passenger one from Amtrak and uh, I've already caught some fish. Um, so I got to get the GoPro into action and uh, start filming. We're about to hightail it though and uh, get to our fishing grounds and then be able to float back to where we launched from. But absolutely gorgeous out here. And uh, I hope we're gonna, by the end of the video, I'm, it is my hope that we're gonna have a special treat plus a new personal best, Smalley, for myself. Right now I've got my son-in-law, Jake, who's in tow right behind the uh, Autopilot 120. He's fishing a, a Jackson and then right over there off in the distance, that's Jesse. He's the gentleman that invited me out here. Uh, he Look him up on Instagram. That's gonna be uh, shown right there. And then it's, uh, it's Noah, right? Yes, sir. All right, and we got one of uh, Jesse's, it's his best friend, Noah. And he is on a, a Pro Angler 14. It's a 14, Noah? Yes, sir. Yeah, Pro Angler 14, and then Jesse's fishing the Autopilot 136. So we are loaded, ready to go, and uh, let's just have some fun today. So quick story, everyone. I am very sad. Yesterday, I accidentally shut the truck door on the handle of my prototype rod. That is very sad indeed. Look at that. Ah, one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, it's not completely out of commission. I mean, I'm still going to use it, but it's, <laughs> it's going to be very awkward trying to use this guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the fishing grounds and we've got some nice rocks to fish right over here. You got a dam, like the hydroelectric power plant. Uh, Jesse said that that is not usually the gate that's open. This one right up ahead is, and it's going to probably put a small little dent into the day of fishing and what we were supposed to expect. But either way, we're here. We're going to give it a good go and see what we can do. I'm going to start things out with the shaky head right here. We got three options. The shaky head. I've also got a zoom fluke on a Roadrunner, which we can switch out at any time. And then we also got a red eye shad. Um, let's see what we can do. <laughs> oh my God. Talk about the Whopper right there. Look at this guy. The story about the one that did not get away. Look at how just beautiful this guy looks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a few more, we have a can of sardines. There we go, nice cast right there. Look at that. Two back to back. Look at this. Man, that is a beautiful smallie. It's been a minute since I caught one of these guys right here. Come on, chill out. Hey, bro, chill out. Seriously, I'm going to have to clamp down on that lip. There we go. Look at how beautiful that fella is. Oh, man, I need your grandpa, buddy. I need your grandpa. There we go. That's a nice one right there. That's a little largey. Okay. We got something with some size. And look at the vibrant colors on this fella. Oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous he looks. Nice spotted bass. Beautiful little healthy fella. Trying to clamp down on my thumb. 
Come on, turd. Come at me. Oh, that guy just bit it nice and boom, hard. Huh. It's good to know that we ain't playing by ourselves. It's been a, a pretty uh, tough day. And Jesse has mentioned like repeatedly like this. It, it's beyond him on why it it is so tough. But the water is kind of cloudy and uh, normally it's clear. And the uh, current is moving quite a bit. So those are the things that we had working against us uh, from being what a normal day should be. He's like, uh, normally you're going to catch you a bunch of... Uh, he It didn't come out of his mouth, but I'm going to say it like world-class smallmouth uh, based off of what he was describing to me. That is like, pff, those are some really big smallies. Either way, we're still catching. Uh, I've managed to catch several little smallies, and then that's my first largemouth right there. So, uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Since we broke one rod, we've only got four to actually use today. Yeah, I uh, ended up breaking inside the, uh, the truck door my favorite one, the Arius. It was those prototype rods that uh, I started out with old 18 and uh, yeah, just kind of heartbroken about it. So we are one less rod today, but that's not going to matter. What's on the agenda? Uh, the same that was on the agenda the last time. We're going to try to catch a snakehead. And how do you do that? How do you stop the short bite when you ain't got any stinger hooks? This is what you do. You remove your trailer. Don't give them an opportunity to bite something that you don't want them to actually get a hold of. So there we go. If they uh, go after this, right behind that skirt is the massive hook. That's how we're going to get past the whole short bite today. Mark my words. All right, we'll come back to this fellow right here in a minute. I want to fish this little area with a top water before that sun really gets overhead plus this guy is not going to get gummed up by many of the weeds that are in here so let's just see if we can get that top water strike okay here is a very quick update we haven't caught anything with the whopper plopper all right on to with the show <laughs> No, for real, here's a uh, quick update. I've been throwing the Whopper Plopper for about 35 minutes, close to 40, somewhere around there. We haven't got not one bite, not one blow up, but what I have come up with is that this vegetation right here is going to be the likely spot that we're going to pull, maybe coax one of these turds into biting because they can actually swim inside it. The other grass that's reminiscent of the Texas marsh stuff that we've got back home, well, that's right up against dry land, and I don't see them biting that, or biting it. I don't see them in that stuff because, oh my gosh, Mark, that is the perfect cast straight in there. Buddy, you just can't get any better than that, huh? Hope nobody bites it, idiot. But yeah, uh, that is all up against dry land, so I don't see a snakehead beaching itself unless there's something that I don't know about it. The little that I do know would suggest that they're not going to be there. Let me uh, get this freaking idiot out of the darn weeds and uh, we'll continue fishing. All right, this is the last cast with the Whopper Plopper. Obviously, they don't want to bite this fella. So we're going to swap it out for a smaller lure that if the fish goes after it, he's going to have no choice but to take the hook as well. And... It's a pretty stout hook. A lot of you who are my, uh, or my audience that's been with me for quite some time know what it is that I'm gonna use. Maybe you know what I'm gonna use. But uh, it's a tiny little lure that has caught tons of redfish. And he's gonna be able to fit on this fellow right here. We're gonna remove this guy. And let's uh, pull him out. Drum roll, everyone. Let's see if those of you who are guessing are 
guessing right. Voila, right there. This is the Slabalicious Tuxedo Black with a chartreuse tail. I think it's just called Tuxedo Black. No, it's Tuxedo Black Shart, meaning chartreuse, not the other one. Like, hey, I just shart myself, um, which I will do if I don't catch anything today. I'll do it at home, though. So here we go. Uh, let's get this guy on there, ready to go. He's been a pretty good player, and we're going to do it to it. Come on, baby. Catch us the big one. Here we go. Should be plenty of action for those guys. It's a small, tiny little morsel for them to lock into. And the minute that we catch it, or the minute that I feel the bite, I'm setting the hook. I'm not waiting because I know, like, hey, it's like trying to stick a toothpick in your mouth. You know, you got to put the whole thing in. <laughs> that, that makes absolutely no sense, but uh, y'all just work with me, okay? So here's a really quick update. I was already heading back in towards the ramp, and I noticed that the grass is just a little bit flooded over here. Uh, I wasn't recording but I got just tagged like by the first fish of the day. It was a snakehead and uh, I did not set the hook because I knew I wasn't recording. I was letting the GoPro cool down and I wished I was recording and that's why you always got to be recording. Oh my gosh. That was probably going to be the only bite that I'm going to get the entire day. Looks like the water came in just a tad bit because this grass was all the way like down towards the roots that's where the water was and now it's a bit submerged so i'm thinking that the snakeheads are like moving towards the grass line now i don't know i mean i don't know enough about them but i do know that we just got hit right next to this grass line and earlier we weren't getting anything so let's just keep our fingers crossed that we get another bite and we're able to set the hook on him. That is a big old largemouth right there, baby. Okay, we're gonna get the ego. We don't want this guy to go airborne, that is for sure. Yeah! Oh my gosh, that is my new PB for Virginia, baby. <laughs> Hold on, Billy. Oh my gosh. Finally. We finally. Oh, wow. It's on, almost, what, 12 o'clock? And we just now got around to snagging our first fish. Only one other bite. And look at this. Oh my gosh. That was a great hook set too, boy. You weren't getting off. I don't care what you try to do. You were not going to get off, buddy. Oh, look at that bass. He is stocky. Oh my gosh. With all these snakeheads around, bro. That's right. Keep fighting the good fight. Okay, buddy. It is now time to let you go. You got some nasty growth on you. But, uh... You just keep fighting that good fight, all right? That's right. Oh my gosh. I have no idea where he went, but it doesn't matter. We did not get skunked again. Oh my Lord, thank goodness for the largemouth bass. Mm. Okay, please. Oh, it's a bass. Is it? Yeah, it's a bass. Oh my gosh, dude. I was like, please let it be a snakehead. It's still a decent sized chunky guy. Another great hook set because, man, I'm telling y'all what, I'm swinging for the fences. There we go. Get that out. Nice little largey. Stay away from them snakeheads, buddy. You gotta stay away from them. All right, what a very two tough days of fishing. The James River just did not pan out for us. 
uh, but the conditions were beyond our control with that floodgate, the, the wrong one being open, the water conditions just weren't ideal. So uh, the fish showed us as such and uh, we were only able to come away with some very small bass. But today, thank goodness, I was able to pull it out with a very nice largemouth bass. That one is by far the largest that I have caught since I've been out here in Virginia. No need to worry, I'm gonna head right back out there again tomorrow in hopes of catching my first snakehead. Uh, with each trip, I learn a little bit more, so hopefully we're gonna make it happen. I sure do thank each and every one of you all for watching. I really appreciate that type of support. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.